another daily spark of inspiration. And today I want to talk about one of my pet peeves actually, and that is charging your worth. It comes up quite often in the context of encouraging usually women to charge more for their services. And the intention, I think, like the people who, who use that phrase, I think they mean well. They really want to encourage women to stop undercharging. And the problem I see with it is that it links your worth as a person or as a professional with the value of what you're selling. And I think that's just not true. And if you think it is, then not only do you not charge a lot of money on top of it, you think there's something wrong with you as a person or you're not good enough as a person. It goes down that road that can be turned into a slippery slope quite quickly. And, and I think it's totally wrong because what somebody is prepared to pay for something is a reflection of what it's worth to them at this moment, right? So if you want to get home for Christmas and, and you didn't know until yesterday that you were going to have to time off or, you know, you want to see somebody who's in hospital and so you really need to fly somewhere tomorrow, if that's really important to you, you pay whatever that flight ticket costs, right? If you're just going on a holiday and you think, oh, well, we want to just take a trip and you don't really care whether that's tomorrow or, or not, then you're not going to pay that price. And you take a cheaper, cheaper flight that goes, you know, the week after. And uh, and if it's important that you go to this place, then you pay what the ta ticket to that place costs. If you don't really care, you take one of those last minute trips that send you wherever, you know, wherever they send you. So, and that's got nothing to do with the, the value of the plane or of the... Uh, of the airline or of the travel agency, it's got none of, nothing to do with that. It's like how much is the service or the product worth to your potential client? Now, the only part you play in that is, I guess, you need to be confident that you can actually deliver the, the service. And if you're not, that's what we're going to show because that also means you're going to have a hard time help your client see that you can actually deliver on what it is you're, you're promising. If you have a product they can see, then you know, you're out of it altogether. So I think knowing that, that you as a person or as a professional, that you're really out of the equation there, takes a lot of the awkwardness out of that whole money conversation most people really dread. So if you knew that pricing has nothing to do with you, how much would you charge? See you tomorrow.